damped oscillations in an RLC circuit. Damped oscillations in an RLC circuit. Now, now we connect a resistor between them. If a resistor R is present in an LC circuit, the total electromagnetic energy U is no longer constant, but decreases with time as it is transferred steadily to thermal energy in the resistor. So, total U. This is total U. Ah, they are not constant. Okay, we say du dt. The energy to reduce should be consumed in R. It's I square R. This is a, this is minus number because they, they reduce. Okay, and we put this one inside. We do the derivative. Two half cancel R I D I D T. Two and a half cancel. Okay. Q over C D A D Q D T equal to minus square R. Ah. And we know I equals D Q D T. We put this one inside. So R divided here. This D Q D T I cancel out when I. So we get this one's the D Q D T. R. This is the second derivative of Q. With the with respect time to t. Dq dt could i. So you put i's here and this one and this one's i we can cancel one i on both sides. We get di dt equals air second derivative of q with respect to time t. Plus you see this r moved here. R i dq dt plus cancel this uh, q over c equal to zero. What are this? This is a little bit familiar. This is a second order differential equation. It's linear, uh, no square, linear, okay? And we got to solve this differential equation, uh, get the answer. You may not get into this subject in mathematics, and I do in my, my way. We know that First, we assume the solution, Q. Without this resistance, it is sine cosine. With this resistance, we know that the Q is deteriorate with time t. We assume we have this term, E minus AT. And the t is zero, this is what? This beginning. When a t goes into infinity, this is zero. As we expect, Q will be zero. Okay, this A, I don't know. I can find it out. Okay, so here we have Q E minus A T cosine omega T C. Phi and Q are two constants. That depends on the initial condition. Q or D Q D T is I. Now, we do the derivative. D Q D T. You have two terms. The first term you have minus A. Minus A. E minus a q cosine. The second term is the q e minus a is the cosine. This is minus sine omega. This is omega minus sine. Okay? And then this is the q dt. We know the do the gap with the second derivative with respect to time t. We do this two term. Okay? The first term is you have minus a gap. So Q minus minus positive, Q A squared cosine. Second is you have cosine, you have a minus sine omega. Minus minus positive, a sine omega. Omega, you have omega, right? Yeah. And look at this one. This first derivative is minus A. So you get a minus minus positive. Positive Q A omega sine. And then you do this sign. Sine is cosine, you have omega. Omega squared minus minus q omega squared as well. So you have this two, four term. Now what do you do? We try to go this one. We multiply one over c to q. Look at this one. We multiply i to dq dt. We get this one. Okay, two term. And we multiply r 
to D and D D. It is four two. And we then put them together. This air, the second derivative of Q respect to time T, plus R, first derivative dQ dt, plus Q over C, is equal to zero. Now, this must be zero. We see a lot of cosine sine, and we get the cosine together, sine together. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Uh, let's see this one. E minus T cosine term, we have Q over C, Q over C, okay? And the cosine, this one, we have minus, minus RQA, minus QRA, this cosine, okay? We have RQA square, RQA square cosine. And this one, we have minus R Q omega squared. This is a coefficient in front of this term. And then we have sine. Look at the sine. Minus Q omega. Minus Q omega R. And this sign. And this sign. They are the same. So 2 Q A omega. 2 Q A omega L. What is L? Equal. Now we get this answer. This equation should be equal at any time. So t can be a lot of number. They should always go to zero. So what we can get? We can guess the only chance, chance is the coefficient in front of this is zero. Right? Okay. Uh, so we put them together and get an answer. Only chance we can have answer is the coefficient in front of these complicated stuff is zero. So we get LQA squared minus LQ omega squared minus QRA plus QO equals zero. Okay. And 2QA LIR minus RQL equals zero. Okay. Now, well, again, in this one, okay, Q omega cancel out. We get a, a equal to r over two l. We put a equal to r to l. We find omega. Okay, the omega equal to square root one over l c plus c. Now we get the answer because we have a. Okay, we have omega, right? And this one is originally omega square. Okay, you have one more term because you have an r. Without the r, without this term. We get omega zero, right? So finally, answer is Q equal to Q. This one, okay? Q equal to this one, and this one A is minus R over two L. This omega is this one, okay? And you have a Q at um, phi. These two constants are determined by initial conditions. Now we have to original way to get this uh, physics way. Assume it one more term, we'll get the answer. Now we we'll get the answer. Because of this loss of energy, the oscillation looks like this one. A t approach to infinity, this term equal to zero, q equal to zero. Uh, because of this loss of energy, the oscillations of charge current and the potential difference continuously decrease in amplitude and the oscillations are said to be damped. As you will see, they are damped in exactly the same way as those of the damped block spring oscillator in mechanics. This series circuit of a capacitor bank, a resistor, and an inductor will be used to demonstrate damped oscillations in an LRC circuit. The voltage across the capacitors is shown by the vertical position of the trace on this oscilloscope. When the switch is thrown to the left, a battery charges the capacitor bank. Throwing the switch to the right connects the charge capacitor in series with the resistor and inductor, with the resulting oscillations in capacitor voltage shown on the oscilloscope. 
If we increase the capacitance, the period of the oscillations increases. What will happen to the oscillations if we increase the resistance in the circuit? The oscillations die away more quickly as the resistance is increased. Example, a series RLC circuit has inductance air 12 millihenry, capacitance C 1.5 microfarad, and a resistance R 1.5 ohm. Question A. At what time T will the amplitude of the charge oscillations in the circuit be 50% of its initial value? When a Q the answer, write it down. The question is, what time t? Okay, the amplitude is original half. Original what? t equal to zero. It's equal to one. It's q. In other words, what time the, the amplitude is half q? Okay. In other words, this is equal to half. Uh, we take the log, we can get the t. Uh, this is minus c log half. Cancel out, so this t equal to log 2 or 2x. See, we put on the right side, we'll get an answer. Only 0 0.011 second, 11 millisecond. Question B How many oscillations are completed within this time? We have time. Once we know the period, we can find this answer, right? Okay, what is the period? Let's just see. First, we find omega. In this case, we put number i, put air, we find r over 2 air is much smaller than 1 over air c squared. Okay, so we drop this one. This is physics. Uh, approximately, it's okay. So the omega 0 is equal to 1 over air c. We put the air, we put the c, we get omega. Okay. Once you get omega, we get a time t. Omega t equal to 2 pi. So t equal to 2 pi of omega. We get the t. And once we get the t, we know how many cycle because we are, we're already find that this t is 13 and this t is 13. In 13 circle, it drops to half. 